it's a fun project, I think, to share, to read, to record, you know, the Word of God, but also the devotionals and to share those things that, <laughs> well, in devotional, this one as opposed to others maybe, to share those things where you really blow it on or share those things that you succeed in and to just focus in on the direction that God would have you to go as opposed to what direction you went. <laughs> uh, that for me is fun because I know that in recording a year of these devotionals that looking back and watching them because for me it'll be like a person that I don't know sharing with me the devotional when I see it a year from now because I don't know what God may speak coming through me to the response from the words that you know are in these books but I know that lots of times as I sit here and I listen to what is being shared I see part of me sometimes and I see part of God sometimes and I sit in the back of my mind and I enjoy all of it because it's kind of fun to let God use you to do what he would choose to do. Isn't that what you want also for yourself? To be used of God, to be a servant, to be a friend of God, to know that Jesus is living inside you and that he could speak through you at any time that he wanted to? You know he can. All you need to do is let him. Just open your mouth and start talking you may be surprised what comes out especially if you try witnessing but some people need to pre-program that so in devotional we're just sharing and pointing in the direction we should go holiness with that bleh, holiness without which no man shall see the lord except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of god there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth. There is no spot in thee. You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance, but as he which has called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons judges according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. Put off concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and put on the new man which is after God, is created in righteousness and true holiness. He hath chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. You know, you get into all the holiness things, and after a while it gets to be so holy that you wonder, boy, you know, maybe I should be a monk. <laughs> or you see sometimes in other extremes, and you could go from one extreme to the other. I mean, the beauty of where I've been as a, as a born-again Christian and seeing so much is that I could say the word holiness, and on the one end I could picture in my mind the extreme Orthodox Jew as well as the greek orthodox and the roman catholic you know and i see a great holiness there or like john michael talbot you know and being a benedictine monk you know great holiness and respect for god and and knowledge of him or that i could go to the other extreme and get into the holiness movement and sometimes i see things that if that's holiness you know i think it's gotten a little carried away <laughs> okay so between the two god has swung the pendulum many times, you know, to bring us into realization that maybe what we define as holiness isn't necessarily true. But in the end, I like the last line that says, He has chosen us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. You see, if love is your motivation, and love is your direction, and love is your attitude, and love is your action, then whatever you do, because like a father loves a child, just like when you have a baby, whatever the baby did, if it burped on you, if it pooped on you, if it, if it, <laughs> you pulled the diaper off too fast and the cold air got in there and guess what it did? <laughs> and he's male, then you know what I'm saying. But the point is, is that in love, you 
recognize those things were just natural occasions of the baby just responding to love, that it didn't know how to discipline itself or structure itself in response to all the love you're pouring out on it. So too, likewise, a lot of times, that's what Christians are. When they want to be holy, they just don't know how, so they do the best they can. And we learn and adapt as we study and walk with God daily. Gold tried in the fire. There is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake, and the gospels, but he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses, and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecutions, and in the world to come, eternal life. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you? Now, for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearance of Jesus Christ. The God of all grace, who has called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish you, strengthen, settle you. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. You know, I love the idea that God sees all that we've given up for him and he wants to bless us with that back in this world and gives us a promise of that. But you know, I don't want any of those things, you know, that in the same way that the four and twenty elders cast down their crowns before Jesus, when I gave up my house, when I gave up all my family and filial ties and I chose to walk with the Lord in a very dedicated way, in a very completely <laughs> crazy um, choices, you know, a lot of people thought I was nuts, you know, and all of those things have come back to me that I could have possessed, and yet I would turn them back to dispossess my ties to this world, so I would not be likened unto those whom I see with all these possessions that, yes, I'm happy for them, I'm glad that they have all that God has blessed them with, because at some point in time, maybe they did give up and deny themselves for Jesus' name and for the gospel's sake, and God has blessed them with it. Wouldn't that be something to find out that all these people that everyone criticizes might have done the right thing and God is just blessing them? I doubt it. <laughs> hey, I'm just as fleshy as you are. <laughs> but the truth is, we only know in part. We only see the outward. You know, we need to be careful of those criticisms that we level against one another. But in reality, God has seen the person that he chose from the foundations of the world to have salvation and wants to bless. So if God's blessing you and, you know, you feel beat up by those who, you know, say you got to be poor or you got to do this or do that, don't. Just do what God tells you to do. When you read it, you'll know. <laughs> you probably are using it for the kingdom of God's sake. So be blessed in it. For me, I enjoy the poverty of my endeavors, such as this is. And God still brings about all that I need and all I could want. And I still enjoy it. Like, tonight, I'm probably going dancing. Woohoo! Yippee, yippee! Yay, yay! Die, 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 die because I like it, and God lets me, and it's fun. And him and I and my wife enjoy it, and we have a great time. So you enjoy what it is that God's given you today, and be blessed.